Good morning. We are fixing to go play golf at Seascape. Seascape. It's one of the cheaper, actually the cheapest course I've found on the golf, but are down here in Nest. We'll see how it goes. Most courses are around 110 to 140. This one was 40. So hopefully it'll be in good shape and we'll let you know what we think about it. And pray the rain holds off. Yeah. Or otherwise, we'll have a rainy golf day. But whatever, we're going to play golf. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. Hole number one, 427 yard par four. It's like a fairly narrowing fairway. I'm gonna hit a little three wood, try to take some off of it. Hopefully be in the center of the fairway. Let's see how it turns out. I hate the first shot of the day. Free mulligans on the first hole. Oh, you're in the, you gonna find that? <laughs> Place. Oh, they that got a lucky bounce out of that. First hole is right next to the driving range. So now we gotta figure out. I know my ball. Is our, yeah, hers is way the heck and, up there. And mine's green. I know mine. There's balls everywhere. Just finishing up the front nine, about to hit the back nine. Greens are a little small. The course is about what you would expect for this price range. Some some spots it struggles in. It's not bad. Started off really slow. Now we got some go-go juice in us, some liquid courage, whatever you want to call it. We should play better this back side. So what else we can get into after we finish here? Yeah, move. That's for me. My tea box. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm not listening to me. Hey guys. Coming through. Playing through. All right, we're not in a hurry. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Go over there. <laughs> oh, that's what I needed. <laughs> she almost hit the house. I did. Played in the year. I am sucking it up really good. I'm not playing as much as I probably should. I'm gonna have to go back take my summer lessons and then forgot everything. Playing a course you don't know is tough. First time you've ever played it. I have no idea what's over that hill. So, but we are gonna grip it and rip it. Hopefully hit it straight. Find out what's over there. This is a 470 yard par five. So it's a par, short par five. Ought to be easily be able to make it in two. The courses we play back home, this will be a par four, so we'll see what happens. That looks really, really good. Oh, I should have recorded that. She hit the flag stick about that far up the flag stick in the air on this par three, almost hold it in the air. Now she's about, maybe it bounced off about three foot from the flag stick. Oh my God, that could have had a hole in one. Uh -huh. <laughs> you almost <laughs> rung it in the air. Oh, gosh. 
That sucked. I like went like one, two over. <laughs> Part three, but I hit the flag. No, we'll give you a four on that. Uh, oh gosh. But you know what? That's what's crazy about golf is you uh, you've been playing so bad, and then you go and hit the flag stick. Now it makes you excited again. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Look, oh, yeah, on the green. On the green. Last hole of the day. Short par four, only 240 yard par four. So we're gonna take a hybrid, see if we can't hit it up there. Looks like there's a lot of hazards left and right, so. Don't hit it straight, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh, that looks like that's gonna be good as long as there's nothing there that we can't see. Did I beat you since I have a 40 handicap? The bad part is, is that last hole makes you come back again next time. I had a net of 60, you had a net of 61, that's bull crap. <laughs> I had a gross of 78, so I actually shot a 78 on this course, which is not bad. That's pretty good. Um, Kelly shot a 101. Which is my average. It really and, is. I'm 100. It's not like... You know, I gave, that one that she um, hit the flag stick on, I gave her that other putt. I can take that away and we'd have tied. All right. We're going to go run and grab some lunch and then... Which you'll sure already see the video, but we gotta go do some snap pad video. <laughs> and then we're gonna go eat some dinner with some friends, the ones that we're giving the snap pads to. So we uh, catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Bill. Stay good. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Stay. Be good. Be good. Be good, Bill. Well, good morning. We are about to just get ready. We're going to head down to the beach. It's kind of overclassed and not really great, perfect, but we just got to make the best of what we have. We're gonna go down there for a bit and then I think we're gonna go over the outlet malls. Um, we did not take y'all with us last night because we uh, went to eat with some friends and they have kids and just didn't wanna take all the cameras with us. And now we are gonna go hang out at the beach. Let's go. laughing at me because I'm enjoying going out here playing in the waves. See, I had surgery about four years ago on my ear because I've never been able to go underwater. So anytime that I've ever been in the ocean, and I'm probably way too close, I don't know. Anyway, so anytime I've ever been in the ocean, I haven't got to enjoy it because I was always worried about getting my ear wet or water in my ear and then it hurts really bad because my eardrum was busting. But now, I'm getting to have fun. <laughs> I think he's getting tired of coming out on the waves. Her <laughs> first ever uh, crashing in the waves. Yes, and enjoying it because I'm not having to worry about my ear getting wet. It's fun. Run to it, run to it, run to it. Oh, I think I'm 
gonna make it. Yay! This has been so much fun, and I'm so glad that the weather's ended up being sunny. It sprinkled on us for a few minutes, and then yeah, it was good. <sighs> Since we didn't get you a pretty sunset the other night, we're gonna try that again. Cause it was supposed to rain all day today and the sun has been out all day. So we're gonna try to go run over and eat dinner and then catch you a sunset. And we are here at the village of Baytown Wolf here in Sandestin. This is our fourth mm -hmm. trip down here. It is. Highly recommend it if you're down here this way. We have tried Roberto's. We tried it last night. Highly recommended. It. it was awesome. Great pizza. Hammerheads. We've ate at Hammerheads twice now. Really enjoyed it. Extremely good oysters. I don't know why theirs are any different than anybody else, but they were amazing. They were, they were great. Uh, they allow dogs, so if you have dogs, uh, make sure you um, come down to Hammerheads and try it out. Today we're going to be trying, what is it? I hope this it's the village, the village door. It's the place beside Hammerhead. I'll show you a picture of the sign. <laughs> and, uh, so we're going to give it a try tonight. Um, there's a lot more restaurants in here for you to try. But so far, this will be the three that we'll, we'll be trying on this trip. So stay tuned. This is the end of this video. We're gonna go play golf tomorrow and I don't know what else. But until then, like and subscribe. Um, I did find out exactly what they do every night. I'm sure it changes, but you can go to their website and. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They have different things. Um, they were having the magic shows for little kids right now. <laughs> I say that's for little kids because the kids were having a good time. It was, uh, it was a little slow for us.